folks, the eyes are the windows of the soul. And I want you to take a look in her eyes. And tell me what you see. This is Judge Ruth Ginsburg. She was appointed by William J. Clinton, President Clinton. Advisor at the time was John Podesta. See how neatly all this is? Well, I'm going to tell you how all of this ties in, why we're doing this story. In 1977, Judge Ginsburg was an attorney for the ACLU. She co-authored a piece that a study that suggested that the age of consent, of sexual consent, legally should be 12 years old. You heard that right, folks. Yes, we have a Supreme Court just, justice right now that believes that the age of legal consent for sexual activities as an adult, should be 12, meaning that a 40-year-old guy can have sexual activities with a 12-year-old girl, or a 40-year-old woman could have sexual activities with a 12-year-old boy, and homosexual activities, and lesbian activities going that way. You get what I'm saying, folks, but that's what this person believes now there's a creepiness look in her eyes isn't there folks but let's go because uh, you know I'm, I'm piecing some other things together because you know I'm just tired of the sickness in uh, Washington DC that's been going on for so long so this is an article uh, from CNS news dated 2008 I believe July and I'm just gonna read some excerpts talking about uh, about the judge, Ginsburg. So it goes on to say, given that homosexual adv advocates are in full court press to lower the age of consent, so let, let's, I'm going to read that again. Given that the homosexual advocates are in full course press to lower the age of consent, we're dealing with that right now. I've been reporting on that right now. There is this push, and there's a push by these people. Why? Why can't you stick to your own age? I mean, what what is this sickness? Sorry. The age of consent as low as it can go, and pro-pedophile sitting Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg documented advocacy of lowering the age of consent to 12 years old parents should be horrified that there are few politicians like senator sanatorium sanatorium actually defending the family timothy uh chai chester to chester cfa a president said april 23rd uh, chai chester was referring to a paper authored by Ginsburg entitled Sex Bias in the U.S. Code, which was prepared for the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights in April 1977. The allegation was further substantiated by Robert Knight, director of CWA's Culture Institute in Homosexual Behavior and Pedophilia, an article he co-authored with the Family Research Council's Frank York. When U.S. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg was an attorney for the ACLU, she co-authored a report recommending that the age of consent for sexual acts be lowered to 12 years of age. The article points out, Knight and York's footnoted documentation on this as followed, Sex Bias in the U.S. Code, Report for the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights, April 1977, page 102, quoted in the Ruth Bader Ginsburg Feminist Worldview, the Phyllis Shafley Report, Volume 26, Number 12, and Section 1, page 3. Don't worry, folks. I will link all of this stuff. The paragraph from the Ginsburg Report reads as follows. Eliminate the phrase carnal knowledge of any female. 
not his wife, who has not attained the age of 16 years, and substitute a federal sex-neutral definition of the offense. A person is guilty of an offense if he engages in a sexual act with another person and the other person is, in fact, less than 12 years old. So there you have it, folks. It's unbelievable. What planet am I living in right now? A 12-year-old is not ready to make decisions on whether they uh, should be having sex or not with an adult. A 12-year-old is just starting to begin to realize who they are in life. They've been on the earth for 12 years. Hell, most of the snowflakes nowadays aren't even understanding who they are at 30. Let, a no, let alone, you know, have uh, <clears throat> making a decision on whether it's okay to have a sexual relationship when you're 12 with a 40-year-old. Or a 30-year-old. It doesn't matter. Just... Just having this kind of relationship at 12 is is it's what is going on? Am I am I missing something here with these people, these sick people? And then this just reminds me, what is this is the agenda, folks? This is the end game agenda with these sick sick people. And I do they they are sick, they are very sick. So in California, you all know this because I reported this, in California, and this is a Washington Times report, failing the children of California, a new law decriminalizing child prostitution puts children at greater risk. So in California now, it's, it's not that it's legal for a minor to do prostitution, it's just has been decriminalized, meaning that they're not going to go to jail. Nothing's going to happen to them. So what's the next step? That we're going to decriminalize prostitution and being a John? And we're just going to, we're, we're, we're going to decriminalize that whole situation. I don't like how this was done. You know, because... This is why it was so important. This is why it was so important for Donald Trump to become president because he's going to pick another conservative constitutionalist that's that's going to make good decisions. And the courts don't make laws, they make decisions based on I believe agendas. And so I could see it getting real sticky right now where you know, a uh, an adult male is with a an adult uh, with a uh, a 12 year old. Well, you can't do anything with the 12 year old because that's been decriminalized and prostitution is decriminalized. Not yet, but I'm saying it's going it's getting to that point. They're going to do that, and so uh, it goes to court, and they and all of a sudden it's okay. To have sex with a 12-year-old if you're 40 or 30 or 50 or 70. Who knows? But do you see how the progression goes? Do you see how they, you know, one thing, it seems like it's not so bad, right? You know, just like they hit us with the Patriarch. The Patriarch sounds so nice. It sounds so warm and fuzzy. It sounds so comforting. It's the Patriot Act. And all the Patriot Act has been is uh, getting into our lives and taking away our freedoms and, you know, putting the TSA in place. And the TSA has been arrested more uh, – the TSA uh, employees have been arrested more for molestation than they've actually caught terrorists. That's true. Look that up. Anyway, folks. The writing is on the wall. We got to keep on praying, and we cannot let this these sick people uh, 
get a stronghold. And thank God we're going to get some good justices in there because uh, this, this one, not so good. Not so good at all. God bless you folks. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.